$6,291. That's the minimum profit you would have made this week had you taken the training, understood how we trade, came into the Discord, followed along. Had you taken 10 contracts, you would have been in upwards of $60,000. What's up, KD for the Wealth Wells? This is our week in trade recap. There's a link attached to this video for everything that I'm going to reference. Go ahead and click that link. Stick around to the end. We're going to talk about one lesson learned and leave you with something that can help you improve your trades. All right. We're going to try to get this done in just about 10, 15 minutes here so you can see the trades and kind of what we did, how to track your trades, how to understand when to enter, what you should be looking for when you reflect on your trades, not just happy you won, not just sad you lost. But what should you be looking at? All right. So let's get into the discord here. If you come into the discord, there's plenty of things to do here. Testimonials to tell you all about me and what this discord is offering and, and how people are being helped. Courses will help you understand how to trade this thing. Tier three is the killer wells access. That's the continuous education there. And then the Katie's trades channel. That's what we're in now. It's, does the recap. All right. So this is the week uh, starting out on the 11th here. And then I post my entire, all my trades there. But so 14 trades, these are the morning trades. I have more than 14 trades. I trade options, I trade futures, I trade index options, I trade stock options, you name it, uh, and futures, but right, specifically pertaining to the S&P, right? I teach traders to only day trade SPY. Go watch this video to understand why you should stick to SPY, especially if you're new to trading for the first three to five, five to seven years, and you'll never trade anything else. Or when you do, it'll only have A plus setups. You can watch my A plus setups video to understand that. All right. So for the morning session, 14 trades, we've got a bunch of wins. We've got some losses in there. Let's talk about it. All right. So if we go back to Monday, right, let's talk about this is Monday right here. Let's talk about what happened right at the open there. So I, here's my trades right there. Monday, right at the open, we knew we were coming into the to the market here with a specific um, data points hitting for CPI. All right. So with that in mind, we had a thesis coming into the, to the market here. We knew that volume will be removed from the market top side of the week. We knew we would get a print on Wednesday and we knew OPEX was amongst us as well. Now, if you want to watch my weekly prep, there's two ways you want to fact check everything I'm saying. There's two ways you can do it. Number one, you can join the discord and just, you know, jump in the free channel, listen in. That's fine. Or you can watch my weekly prep video right here so you can see what I said, the thesis, and if we actually hit our targets. I'm going to show you that we did, but it's always good for you to verify yourself. All right. So looking at our trades here again, here is Monday. Now, Monday, right out the gate, because of low volume, we had to take a little lower DTE, typically my first two to four trades are three to five DTE. Then I move on from there to zeros, etc., and futures and all that stuff. I'm trading at the same time. All right. So we jumped into puts at 938. Let's make sure I'm telling the truth here and verify that. Now, Monday mornings, you can look at my schedule uh, right here and you'll know that every morning, every Monday, rather 915 to 1015, I'm live for anyone to jump in. You want to trade, you want to fact check, as long as you don't come in acting like a jabroni or an arguing with me, you'll get kicked out immediately. It'll it, it, no, nobody has time for that. Then you can trade. Otherwise, this is where we are. Every other time of day, I'm with the Killer Wells. The Killer Wells gets special training, Mindset Mondays, mental development to help you work through it. Ad hoc training, live screen shares Wednesday, live screen shares Friday for training. And if there's a trade that presents itself in that time, we take the trade as well. Levels posted with a trade thesis every single day in this channel right here. Absolutely cooking. We'll go over what people are saying about this discord a little bit later. OK, but um, that's the schedule. So uh, in the main channel right here, spy only channel, right? If we scroll to Monday, let's go to Monday uh, at the time this trade is 938. There we are. There's the call out. You can clearly see that 938. I am in puts, right? And I think it didn't take us long, maybe 10 minutes to hit our target. So we're trailing at 947. You can see us there. And there we are. PT met at 947 there. Here's 947. So let's take a look at that on the full screen here so you can see it. 947 is about right there, right? As soon as we broke underneath our uh, level here, right? And this level is agrees with my uh, printed levels and my research levels. This is the VVP indicator that you're looking at right here with all these shaded areas, all this cool stuff on the screen. It is a superior indicator, a real time indicator. This is my script, my brainchild, KD in a box. It shows you and I everything I need to see to make a decision. And that's my target. We take it to our target and it's no coincidence. You see we like gravity. We keep pulling back to that target, right? So. These targets are very, very reliable. When they shift, we, we, we've got gold. 
So we took that first trade there. That wrapped it up for the morning, uh, for the for the live, uh, as far as the general public. That trade, given the the trade that we were in, banked us 89%. Uh, now, you could have banked about 600 bucks on that one trade had you just you know traded with us. So really, you know, those in the general public are really getting gold here just coming in understanding now here's the caveat to that i certainly take losses we're going to recap this one right here so you don't know when i'm going to win i'm going to when i'm going to lose so number one i'm not your trading guru that's not who i am i am an, a, a good trader i trade for myself and allow others to come into my my zone and if they want to understand how to trade i teach them my system i don't know your system all right so i'm not your savior your guru whatever I am an elite, an excellent trader that has a specific strategy to help you build income in the market and then turn that income over and over and over and those profits over again. All right. So. All right. So you want to learn all that stuff and you got to click the link and get the training. All right. So let's, let's go ahead. Now, everything, all these other trades are inside the private channel. I'll show you those as well. So let's go down to how about we go to the next day, the 12th out the open, because I remember that loss there. And here it is right here. Now, here's why. Let's first bring it up on the screen so you can understand. Here's the loss. All right. Everybody takes losses, right? You'll you, out of 35 some odd trades, I'm gonna trade take three to four, three, sometimes five losses. So that's that's not a you know, that's something that just it comes with the territory, all right? Losses just come with the territory. It is what it is. The idea is how do you manage them? All right. So right out the gate, I'm in uh, the 915 contracts there, right? 932. Uh we are uh in in puts out the open all right so let's bring the 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 the, the um the the screen over here the, the discord so i can show you that trade all right so let's take a look here if we jump over into the killer wells channel right there we're looking for this 912 opening trade there there we are 912 inputs right there call out on spx you can clearly see it right some folks were already in a trade the opposite direction right they saw something there perhaps that either I didn't see or something that they liked off of their level, which is a very good testament to why you have to also do your own work. You don't know when I'm going to take a loss and you don't have to take a loss when I take a loss. Just just like when you take a loss, I don't take a loss. Right. You can clearly see I recognize. All right. This thing is not going to get to my target when I expect it. And I get out of the puts there right now. Here's the here's the good good news here. We're back on track. We're in some 915, so I don't have to go through much drawdown here. However, it's still a loss. Now, here, here's the deal with these types of trades. All right. Why did I take this trade? All right. I saw volume shift in the pre-market. I had already traded the futures. I had confidence that we were coming down to an area and we had a gap filled with, with sale pressure down here. I saw the volume profile indicate that, hey, we've got to fill these orders down here. No doubt about it. The problem is, remember the video I gave to you guys, uh, I'm not wrong, I'm early. Remember that video? Go watch that video, all right? This, I was wrong in relation to when we would get there, not if we would get there. So you need to also understand, now, for, for you know, I, I had a longer day to DTE, so I could have held this here, but that's, that's not something I was willing to do prior to CPI with low volume, right? Now, ultimately, we traded this trade to the backside of the day. We did get the move, right? We crushed it, and, and we did well, right? I'll bring this back over to you for you again, and you'll see. All right, ultimately, right, as the move broke down later, puts, right, we got a nice 51 percenter, right? So so not a big deal, not a big deal, not a problem. But the, the idea here is, you know, you're going to have to understand that you'll need to know when you're wrong, get out and when you're just simply early which is a wrong trade and what the stock is going to do so ultimately we got the stock on the backside here of that 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 little morning uh, chip and chop we caught the move and made bank on that one so that was a successful trade but that was my loss for really the week that's what i saw that's you know why i grabbed the trade uh, i had to sit through the buy up here got out the trade you know, four three four minutes later for the chip around then it re-entered the exact same trade for the ultimate breakdown all right let's move on to the next day all right so now we're, we're we're moving over to the 13th here which is the cpi print day now now take a look at, at the 13th okay this is the 13th here right we get a little stall here we get a dump we get a run up and we're pinned now beautiful action for the vvp indicator look at our level here we're just pinned at our level. So if you wanted to trade this, which I don't recommend that you do, um, you know, in the middle of the field here off the level, then what you would just do is just come off the level. Now, when I see two levels overlap this way, depending on the, the type 
and the in the volume profile boy this is as good as gold so each time you could fade this level fade this level fade it and get a get a nice trade and go to the bank on this thing but let's take a look at the trades we we, we took for wednesday let me bring over the uh our, our trade list here okay so now i want to i want you to pay attention to one thing pay attention to how i read the room so to speak or how i'm reading market sentiment right you can look at my whole time and get an idea right so on the 13th take a look We're, we got a little bit of profits here right just a little bit 21 percent right we grabbed that move but look at my holds one minute they're not we're looking for bursty action right six minutes one minute one minute right 33 minutes right we're not doing a whole lot you get what i'm saying so when you when you look at your trades and you look at um, how long you're going to hold it should definitely adjust with volume and market sentiment okay if you're if you always are if you're a scalper no matter what no matter what you do you're a scalper you're going to miss the big moves if you're only looking for the big moves you're going to get faked out um, you're going to sit through some some chippy action sometimes you're not going to understand so you got to really let volume tell you what to do all right so that's 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 Wednesday's action on the 13th right you can clearly see the profits there all right let's skip ahead right we can see all the all the goods there let's skip ahead now that we've got CPI to print right we're looking at the back side of the week let's just go straight to Friday all right so Friday's action here Friday was in the private channel right let's take a look at uh, what we what we did there just two trades a hundred percent on those trades average hundred nine percent uh, 35 now had you had 10 contracts or 15 contracts your minimum would have been about 30 grand that day right as others have uh, printed well that day as well um but but friday's action was was very nice now we were prepared for friday we understood that um again key levels you can see look at our levels being respected i mean this is this is this is no joke folks all right and then we also understood when to hold right so right out the gate you knew all right we're coming up on opex right you were coming up on um uh triple uh witching here the, you know these contracts expiring which is going to now reintroduce the volatility that we want it's going to reintroduce uh the volume and the rebalancing right and so with that in mind we were prepared to really grab this thing and crush it right out the open all right so let's go over to the you know discord make sure i'm telling the truth here all right so friday there's the date there right all right here we are inputs right there right out the gate and i'm going to trail this thing i had no doubt that we're getting to where we need to get to and so the idea is just to trail 947 pt met there's 940 let's bring this over a little bit here there's 947 uh-huh see our level that's that's what we take our targets to we stretch down here boom right there and then the idea here now is to manage the trade because we're testing a gap fill. And what I'm trying to do is get to this sell pressure. This is what I'm trying to do. I am trying to now it's the weekend. So you're not seeing a volume profile, you know, shift on SPX. But here, here, take a look at this SPX. My volume profile will show me level two like data. I see volumes in here and I see sell pressure. So what I want to do is I want to get to this sell pressure because I know that once I come to sell pressure, those orders are going to be actuated and boom, I'm going to break down more aggressively, right? And so that's what we did. We came to that area. If you take a look here, only two trades, really one trade, and we let the runners run. All right. So at 930, entered a bulk of the position. We're going to take some out at 11 o'clock. Let's take a look at where 11 o'clock was right there. 1055, 11. Boom. We're good. We hit this. I know that once I hit my, my sale pressure there, um, that we're going to get those trades and then uh, I'm sorry, we're going to get those orders filled and then I'm waiting for the buy up. Now, here's the secret. How do you know when to hold? All right, let's go into one lesson learned. When you have a major dump, what, what's the lesson that I can teach you this week? All right, here's the lesson. When you're trying to hold for a long position like this, you have to pay attention to volume. Now, this is just half of the pie. There's other things you need to look at. I need to be very clear and transparent with you. You're not going to get good just by only focusing on one thing you need to understand the entire market as a whole okay but when the market is moving like this i have the volume profile here and i have the vvp indicator here when i see an area of interest and sell pressure on my um, screen here and i see a level i break down my out would be when the volume shifts right here and when we break above the area of interest there 
Okay, so if I were to break above this area of interest, then it would I would say, all right, some things are going to change. We're done with this trade, right? Now you want to get this breakdown here for maximum profit. You want to exit into strength. That's what we do. But if you have your runners left and you're trying to really milk this thing, let's say you took half your position or 75% of your position off the table here, locked in profit, you cannot lose, but you want to get the rest of this, then you'll be watching these areas of interest. You'll be watching the volume. And as you chip around, you can clearly see there we're fighting. These orders are being filled. Once we start to break down, you take it, aha, to your next level. Do you see the level here, folks? Once you see that level here, then you know, hey, this is where I need to be. This is what's going on. This is where I need to be out. And you see, we barely come down and touch that level. So as we come down here beneath this, uh, the POC, that's where you want to get out, right? And so essentially what we have here is just level to level trading. That's all we have here, right? Level to level. You could go out level, AOI, uh, level. Come down off the AOI, level to level, and you're out. All right. So that's the lesson learned here. That's how you know when to hold and when to when to keep rolling with this thing. So that's our that's the that's the recap, guys. This week was a monster week. It started out chippy as we knew the volume would. Worst, I mean, the absolute lowest amount uh, you, you could have came out with in the market, six thousand two hundred ninety-one. Best case, you would have come out with a little bit more of that. Now, here's what's interesting. Let's take a look at some of what our traders are saying in the Discord about about us and. And kind of what's going on here in the discord so if you take a look around i mean we can go over to the to the private channel but i i, I want to pay attention to just a little something that that some of the traders are saying here and how they're they're uh, getting some results here if you go over to our testimonials channel you'll see we'll, we'll highlight some of these tomorrow or whatever but you'll see some folks that are just hitting some awesome numbers right and i'm very proud of you guys i'm happy that you're doing that i'm happy that you're finding uh, you, you know, your lane here, but spend some time in this channel guys and read what people are saying about the discord and how it's helping them. And I'm humbled to, to continue to provide that. We're just getting started. So many things coming down the pipeline folks. So this is our weekend recap for uh, the week uh, ending in a uh, nine 15 was a very profitable week over six K in the bank for the low end 60 K for the high end and all those numbers in between. Guess what we're going to do next week. Guess what? Guess what folks? We're going to do the same thing we did last week we're going to crush this thing and go to the bank uh, train and trade uh, show you how to get this thing every single day and really build something for the future all right so do yourself a favor come into the discord get the training that you need join tier three right there's only a small portion of my my week that i spend with general public at this point we don't uh we, we, we we're only going to spend time with those who really want to trade and who really want to get it no more toe tappers we'll give you about an hour a week and then all the goods is inside of the killer wells private channels right here where we do the swings people are crushing this thing man so i'll see you guys um in our our weekly prep uh next uh next week i'll see you bright and early monday in the spy only options room to crush this thing kd for the wealth wells signing out